Well, the best thing we can say is at least we've got something on the board. That is a foundation to build upon as today we get stuck straight back into some action. We've got four or three games, I'd say, that are winnable. We've got some difficult trips as well. And we really do want to try and get some more points to get us out the relegation. Did I also mention we've got a six pointer as welcome back people to episode number three of season number seven of this Grimsby Town to Glory FIFA 23 career mode here on the MWS channel as if you haven't been here before and you're on this video somehow if you do enjoy this one leave it a like and subscribe of course if you're new around here we're on the race to 8.4 thousand subscribers right now we've surpassed where we previously was. As I'll start by showing you the calendar, of course, spoilers from the previous episode, as we've got no points yet, or we've got no points in the first month, I should say, and then, of course, five straight defeats in club and all competitions, as then we've got a draw, as we have Brentford away at the G-Tech Stadium. I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. We've got Brighton Hove Albion, we've got West Ham United, Liverpool, Manchester United at Old Trafford, and then Everton, as I think... I think, to be fair, we've definitely got to play Brentford because, uh, and that's not the right menu, this one, both on a point. They are bottom of the league on goal difference. We need to beat them to try and actually stay in this division already. So we're going to be playing that one. Of course, we're going to keep on going and see if we maybe we'll play Everton, who are down here, because I know there's big clubs that we're going to be playing now, but I do want to play some teams closer to us to try and guarantee safety as soon as possible. We're going to start with a very strong uh, team, hopefully, as well, because I'm just thinking, why play the big teams when we're simulating the smaller teams that are close to us that we actually need results against? I just think it's a bit confusing. As we've had to reshuffle the pack a little bit in this one, we've had Eccles ask to play, as I don't know why I've took Paradella out. He was the goal scorer in the previous game in that draw, as we're going to go with Andrew, of course, in goal, our Brazilian from Boca Juniors. We've got Eccles staying in over ranking Costello now, because he made his debut on a mistake in it, with Papetti, Shepard, Machida and Gleno at the back. We've got Flynn Downs, the captain, and Paradella in the centre of midfield. Ben Wayne is going to play in attacking midfield, because we've only got Powell, who's a youngster, because of Diara and Reggie Stone's injury, so I'm going to put a striker in there, because I know we've got decent striking options with Hugo Barreira and Santana up front together. So, the new strikers getting a partnership going, hopefully, as... Oh, Diara is actually back already. That's a very quick turnaround for him, and I'm glad. Maybe we actually stick him in. I did not know that. Apologies, I did not know that. So, Oleo, looks like you're out of luck, mate. I'm really, really sorry. We're going to go with Powell on the bench, however. Good dribbler. As Ben Wayne's going to drop to the bench. He hasn't really kicked on this season so far. We'll put Barreira straight in. And we'll see how we do against Brentford in a six-pointer. And the Brentford team is Matthew Cox in goal. Lazari, Wu Fayez, Cesar, Montaigne, Matson, Bidstrup, Garner and Thomas Lamar. With Scov Olsen, Basogog and Sergi Canos. No Ivan Tony. That's interesting. There's also another interesting thing. We're seeing um, Kingsley Coman on their bench. That is very peculiar that he's actually there and not getting started as Tommy Shepard straight into Flynn Downs it's a poor pass off straight away though as Bassagog gets the ball he's going to try and run through this middle Tommy Shepard comes across Machida with a slight block and he gets the ball away and gets a shot off the crossbar a very close chance for the Cameroonian as he's already in from Thomas Lamar six minutes Six minutes we've survived in this crucial game. This ain't the stuff of dreams. This is the stuff of nightmares to start off with. We've got the ball stolen off of us and just finessed past the goalkeeper. That is way too easy. Just can't believe we're already under the cosh as Machida to come forward. Slide tackle comes in, but he still manages to get away with it. Straight onto Santana. Now through onto Diara. Come on, Barrera. Is going to get this ball out wide into Josh Eccles. At least we're getting some attacks going here into Diara. What a save from Matthew Cox. What a save. Their Cox is a lot better than ours. As we've got to try and whip this ball in if we can. Paradella, that's towards Machida. It's not one. Papetti chasing it down. 
Pressure's good from the Italian man at the back. He's going to try and shoot here. And he forces another big save from the goalkeeper. It's a bright start from us, but we still 1-0 down, which is bad as Paradella into Santana again. Falls to fling downs the captain. Gets his shot off. Another shot off. And blocked. Honestly, so close as Papetti needs to win the header. Does win the header. Fling downs with a pass straight onto Barrera and a chip over the top. In towards Diara, who can't beat Voot Fires. Needs to keep the pressure on his back, though. Come on, we can nick this ball if we try. It's still not took off him. I tell you what, possession-wise, we're all over them, as that's a good tackle, Tommy Shepard. Straight into Machida. Now Anthony Glennon's run down this line. We've got 10 minutes before the break, and I think we've dominated as Diara. Good cut back, but the pass just read as that's a good tackle, though. That's a good couple of passes. Diara! He's put it over. He's put it over. Looked more impossible to miss than score as Diara... Just tackled as well before half-time. I tell you what, we shouldn't be 1-0 down. We should be winning. We should be winning. It's the story of the Arsenal game so far as Thomas Lamar into Bassagog getting a run on. We do get the tackle, fling downs. Dodgy pass towards Gleno. And I can't be 2-0 down at the break. I just can't be. Bassagog cuts inside. Good save from Andrew off the wrist. I tell you what, this is dodgy stuff. You know, we've got to be playing more confidently than this. We've come up to the Prem playing good football. And we're struggling to just get a grasp in the Premier League as Sergi Canos blocked by Shepard. Use of the hand. Penalty kick Brentford. It's all going wrong away from home. As we've got to try and save this now, Andrew. We've got to try and save us Bacon. 2 0 at the break won't be good enough. It's Thomas Lamar for a brace. Down the middle solves the riddle. 2 0. 2 0 B's. Majorly, majorly disappointing. It's just passed in. And it is way too easy. Not great. Now at half time, we've got a mountain to climb. I've got to change something, haven't I? And again, in the last game, a formation change did the trick. Now it's 2 0. It's going to be more difficult, I'd say. As we did go attacking when we did it last time, but I like to change to this formation the 4 3 2 1. And we're going to. Um, I've got to keep DR on, don't I? We've got to sacrifice a defender, and I think it might be Tommy Shepard this time. And we'll put Wayne on. Let's go for it. Also gone with ranking Costello as that's a tackle. Sergi Canos. We've tried to nip in there and get it as Bassagog. He puts it round the corner and it does squeeze through onto Bidstrom. Round the corner again. That's three. That's a brilliant start to the second half, isn't it? We've changed it up. It's gone to three to Brentford. The game's slipping away. It's easy. Round the corner. Gleno beaten. 3 0. So come on, lads. We've got to try and go a bit more openly now as Diara gets this out wide. Passing to Ben Wayne. Ben Wayne needs to look for an option if he can. Santana, little bit of one as the Kiwi goes all the way back into Flynn Downs. Now on to Ben Wayne again. Santana out wide. Diara trying to run it. Pulls it across. Santana blocked. I tell you what, we're just the most unlucky team imaginable as Barrera. That's around the corner for Anthony Glennon. Dips it in. Ben Wayne hammers it home. That's one back. Still a long way. I mean, we have actually... Started going a bit better as well since we changed formation. One less defender and we're doing better as Barrera's in the middle. It didn't go over to him though. We needed to win that header. I think we've woke up a lot in this second half, especially since the third goal. I really hate we've conceded now as Flynn Downs. He's had a bit of a poor game as well. Maybe I'll get Cookie on soon as Lamar's found a gap. Of course, we've sent players forward, so they're going to get these as Papetti. Trying to put a tackle in. He fails to do so. Diara does upfield though. And he's got a run on here. And he's got Barrera with him. They sent men forward. We're catching him on the break a little bit. Pass through. It's behind Santana. Come on, we don't mess this up. Ben Wayne. There we go. He's got a brace. 3-2. I tell you what. Game very much back on us. Here's Brahimi Diara again. Ben Wayne through the middle. He's on a hat-trick now against Brentford. Diara. It's all us as the shot hits Fires. Header one, straight into Flynn Downs. This is brilliant football. Diara, the passing's going quick. Santana! Oh, saved! Not the last chance. We are playing some very, very quick football. Brahimi Diara takes a shot straight at Fires. We can't pass through them. Paradella as he keeps the ball. Diara across the box. Ben Wayne surely tackled. But no, they've managed to get the ball away. And I tell you what, it's a comeback, but we're still... Not enough in this game, but Ben Wayne with a tackle. Oh, that pass is horrific. It honestly is. As 
I'm liking how we're playing at the moment, but it's not enough as they've got round us again. Bidstrup into Machida. It's round the corner. It's now onto Scov Olsen. And that's what happens when you play fluid football upfield. They take their chance. We won't come back. 4-2. And I'm not watching that. I've skipped my own replays. I'm not watching them celebrate. Anthony Saidi to come onto the field as well. And I keep calling him Anthony. It's Christian as the whistle goes straight away. A 4-2 defeat. We tried to come out and play some football. We got beat in the end. We're just turning up too late. Still questions to be asked then as look at that. It's, it's six games, one point. I mean, we're newly Premier League. And we don't want to not be Premier League anymore, but as it stands already, it's a poor start. Brighton, Hove, Albion are next, and they got 11 points. They're on a lot. As I've tried to switch the team up as well, I'm trying to rejuvenate the ideas. West Ham are up there as well, who we play today. I guess we've got to play these, I'd say, and Everton. Yeah, it might have to be a simulation against Man United and Liverpool. First season back, we need to try and stay in this league. As Andrew and Ben Wayne called up for international duty. I understand Ben Wayne right here is he's going to lead the line in the 4-1-2-2-1 formation. Because I've dragged Flynn Downs into DM. Ranking Costello comes in. Gleno in. Machida and Perpetti at the back. It's Tommy Shepard that's unfortunately dropped. Diara is like a winger, but Santana's like a left forward, if that makes any sense. With Paradella, Cookie, and Downs in the centre is Paradella. Yeah, he's a left footer, Paradella. He's always played on the right. That's something I should have paid more attention to. As Papetti and uh, Machida, of course, left footer on left, right footer on the right. I'm going to try and trust this one. We've got to play a sit-in, so that back five's kind of still there. Flynn Downs comes back. As we've got to play some fluid football, it's not just draws we've got to go for. We do need a win. Let's have a look at the Brighton Hove Albion lineup here. Ivan Soria with Adam Webster, Francisco Rodriguez, Matias Ginter, Timothy Weyer, Nicora Mori, and I missed the other two, Odson Edward, Alexandra Isak, and Fabio Silva. They've got Ricky and Adingra in the midfield. They've only got three at the back. If we've got a chance to attack someone, it's three defenders. Cut home after his travels and back with a new formation, which I am really hoping can work out for us here back in the Prem. As Anthony Glennon putting the pressure on. I, I, I can sniff three points out, I feel like. And I'm trying to be optimistic by saying that, because Brighton, of course, started like in real life. Very, very strong to this season. As Ben Wayne, we need ranking Costello forward. He likes to attack this guy as we're going to try and pull it back. There we go. Into Ben Wayne. He's got a bit of an angle. If he powers that and he scores it. Seven minutes. We take the lead in the game for once. Ben Wayne. It's as easy as you like and it's a power shot. It's worked for him. Three and two now for the Kiwi. Still, I'm trying to remain quietly calm. That's a big moment for us though as Alexander Izak putting it round the corner in Tandingra. Now on to Fabio Silva. Read from Machida. We've still lost it. And that is why I don't celebrate too early too much. Fabio Silva with the instant reply. Brighton level with their first attack. Didn't last two minutes. It's just a pass across and I think it's Machida. Just got stuck on it. Fabio Silva wanted them level and he's got them it. It's poor from ourselves. But to be fair, I think this formation still is better. Just an individual error as Machida. Not this time. There we go. He's got the pass out. But not that pass out from Gleno. Look how quick it is. It's 2-1. Oh, my days. One regular day of Barclays. That's all I want. That is all I want. Easy pass through. Kept on side by Perpetti. Fabio Silva has another as Ben Wayne out to Diara. He's passed it back into Cookie. Ben Wayne trying to make an angle. He's got Santana in the middle. Can it be 2-2? Two -two? Now you've got to take that chance. Games this end to end. You've got to take that chance. He's adding Gra. Running down the line, he slipped it through onto Alexander Izak. In the middle, ranking Costello with a tackle. Straight into Flynn Downs' path, who's got Santana through the middle. He opts for Ben Wayne, but he's overpassed it. Very poor ball as Old Son Edouard skips away from one and two. And he's still going as the Frenchman. They've stole all the other strikers from other Premier League teams. As now Izak on the edge of the box. That's a pass around into Morrow. Blocked by Machida twice and Silva over the bar. Incredibly lucky ourselves as Paradella. Ben Wayne was making an option forward. Didn't go for the chip because he had two men at the side of him. And I know what would have happened. They would have caught him up. He's not the quickest of players as Diara running on this side. Not seen much of him on this right wing, you know. 
I think he's better centrally, but this formation, of course, doesn't really apply him in that role. As they've got it over the top, it's stopped for a little bit. Calm down at 2-1. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping we can get more as Flynn Downs overruns it. Come on, boys. As now it's into Flynn Downs again. Ben Wayne, Santana through them back as Rodriguez was lucky at getting that. Sorry uh, to just dribble it across. Pressure put on by Flynn. He knew it was the end of the half. And we know we've got to come back into this one. I've got faith. Come on. Come on. We're better than that as now Webster... In the defence, he's going to dribble through and try and get past Santana, but he gives it straight to Ben Wayne. Got to be better with the first touch than that. As Timothy Weyer through the middle. That's a good ball onto Fabio Silvino. And where's the two centre-backs? There's only one of us right here. There's a pass across, and we've managed to get a little touch on it with Rankin Costello. I don't know where Machida's been today. He's had a very poor game in a back four. Maybe it's Tommy Shepard's role as Adingra. Tries to put a tackle in there, and that should be overdone. As again, we're going to try and throw Christian Saidi on, give him a bit more time this game, as uh, we need to really make this work. It was just a quick start to the game, as that's through to Alexander Izak. Andrew with a very good save to try and keep us potentially in this game. Still, we've not looked like... Well, I don't think either side, apart from that chance right there, has had attacking threat, as Ilie out wide here for Brighton Ovalby, and into Ricky. As we've got to mark him up. Cookie with a tackle. We need to get there, Santana, if we can. He slid even past the ball. As Fabio Silva into Odson Edward. Can't dribble past us there. And Flynn Downs, come on. We get away from him here. Paradella. Barrera pointing in behind. We're going to go through Santana to Barrera. That's a brilliant pass. And it's off the crossbar. And we don't get there. That's our luck. Summarised. That is just us on a plate so far this season. As Timothy Weyer... He's running through. We've slid across and that's a definite penalty. Machida's had the worst game I think we've seen anyone have in the Premier League so far. Individual error, errors all round. As Andrew's going to dive left. Isaac goes right. Even got sent off, did Machida. Didn't even realise that. 3-1. Safe to say we've not took the Premier League by storm, but... I mean, we are competing. We are competing in games, but we're not winning them. Two additional minutes as well as Santana. What, we'll just try and do something? No, we don't, actually. End the game with 10 men and a 3-1 defeat. Some boos definitely ringing round now. It's been a difficult step up. As we've... I keep saying it, we've just got to go into the next game. Clear-minded and step up. Bottom of the league now with Wolves having a game in hand as West Ham, of course, on the same points as Brighton. And that's a simulated fixture. <laughs> I'm just looking in the academy. Can we take any of these for the first team? It's Reggie Stone's clearing up his injury. We need him back pronto, of course, don't we? Big player, as this is a big game. The Hammers. I mean, I keep changing it, but we do keep losing, so it's obvious it needs changing. Can we... Yes, we can put Ben Wayne on the right-hand side. Barrera down the middle and Santana. That is three strikers on the field. Can we move them to actual strikers? So they're just not minus... Uh, there we go. I think that's a very narrow formation, but one we're going to go with us. These are wing-backs as well, Glenno and Rankin Costello. They're not full-backs, as Shepard stepping in alongside Pepete. And West Ham really do need a humbling right here. They've got 12 points. We need just... I'll take anything at this moment in time. Anything. As we get a win! We win the game! The simulations give us his first Premier League win of the season. I think that's Calvin Phillips, Ben Wayne, and Santana with two minutes on the clock. Get in there! That is a big confidence booster as Machida's back, or Machida's back, should I say. We jump above Wolves and Brentford. Now Everton, who we play very soon, is going to be an important one. But, before that, Liverpool... And Manchester United. Just the games that you really wish seeing us play against. As we are going to go with the same team. The three strikers seem to work. Liverpool 21 points. I'm guessing that's near the top. I'm not going to jinx it by having a look. They've got Gavi. Alvarez. What a team. As can we get a good result against them. We score a goal. I mean against Liverpool. That's alright in his first season back. It is a Julian Alvarez hat trick. And Barrera gets his first for the club. Every cloud. We dust ourselves off after these two games. We have dropped back to the bottom though. Wolves got a win. Brentford even got a win. And Everton getting a couple of points on the board now. So we're slipping away from them. But it just makes that game all more important. Man United as well. 
I'm guessing next time round we've just got to put it all in against these teams. Hopefully we can be playing Man United and Liverpool second time round because we won't be in this rut. As I just saw um, Dylan Pritchard's almost back. That's a good one. As, of course, we're going to put Koki back on the bench. And we're going to go... Not DR, we're going to take Powell off. Sorry, mate. We've got to go with Reggie back on the bench. Not straight in the lineup. Him and DR are going to have to wait the turn. Cook is just staying in. But at least we've got, I'd say, as main squad kind of together right now. I'd, I'd say so, definitely. As Man United at Old Trafford. Already played them, of course, at Old Trafford before in the Cup. I think that's a weak team they've put out. But they still get the win. Jorginho with two. That's Routier, who we had at Schalke. Florian Verts with the other. Again, same as Liverpool. Barrera gets one. As that doesn't look for promising reading now. Bottom of the league with the lowest goal difference. But Everton are down here in the relegation zone with us. This is where we try and pick up a winner. As Cookie's loan arrangement is actually running out. And do we have the money to sign him up at the moment? Can we settle the buy option? Insufficient funds. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. As come on. Come on, Everton, what a big game this is going to be, as there's only one player now outside of 75 rated on the first 11, which is Gleno, who's gone up to 73. This team on paper now, I'm not taking as many excuses, because this team on paper does look Premier League quality, either that or championship winning one. Of course, we've got 180 plus overall and loads of good ones as well, so yeah, I think this squad's quality. It's got to be doing better than it actually is at the moment. So let's pull his finger out, let's go to Everton, and let's actually get the three points again. And let's have a look at Everton's lineup. Zhao, Virginia in goal, Coles, Branthway, Astley, So, and Sanusu, with Forson, Villar, Bruno, Fernandez, and Zalinski, with Thomas Angel up front as striker. We also looked at Jackie Grealish on the bench, Daniel Mallon on the bench. I mean, it's a strong Everton squad to be in the relegation zone. Frank Lampard doing what he does best. Not picking up results, but staining his job. As now Reggie Stone goes for a pass forward. And it's cut straight out, but a good tackle from Andreas Papete. We are at home for this one as well, so I want them home fans behind us. As Hugo Barreira, now two goals in a town shirt. Looks like he's coming into his element a bit. So that's round to Gleno. Just cut off. Unfortunate as a run from Zaidu is skipped past Papetti. That was pathetic from him as we got the tackle in just after the advantage as we've lost the ball. Villa through to Angel. And Andrew's quick off his line to try and save that one as he does. And ranking Costello to jog it forward now as right back. Just stays with it. And we'll try and pass it a little bit more. Maybe we're forcing it too much in the Premier League. Maybe we just need to be a bit calmer with it. Like, we've gone backwards, and now we've gone forwards as Barrera's in the middle. Ranking Costello trying to pick him out. Braithwaite gets there first, but header one. Ben Wayne with a flying volley. Would hope that hit a hand, as it didn't. Ricky Machida gave the ball into Flynn Downs here, who's going to run through the middle. The ex-Swansea man keeps on going. That's brilliant work. Goes for a 1-2. Just unfortunate not to get it back as Angel skips past us. In the middle, ranking Costello with a good tackle. It's straight onto Reggie Stone from very far out. And I've got to say, yes, it was a good save, but he got annihilated once he passed that ball. Rough challenge. Nothing given. As come on, we've got to be better from corners in the Premier League. They played a decent part for us at the start of last season as Paradella towards Santana, who did get ahead of one. Maybe a handball, but of course not given. Ranking Costello to keep it. He handballs it. Elisqui with the ball down the line as well into Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes trying to skip past a little bit. Ranking Costello just to get the pass away. Straight into Reggie Stone. And Ben Wayne's got there ahead of the defender. That was poor anticipation from him. We know Ben Wayne can slot it in from these angles. Gives it into Barrera instead. Who powers it past the goalkeeper? Zhao no chance. Hugo Barrera. He's stepped up from League 1 to Premier League life very well after 10 games. Come on, we get the win. We don't do a Brighton Hove Albion. We don't slip up. It's just powered past the keeper. What a finish. What a finish. Zilly Squid. Uh, trying to get past us a little bit. We've tried to hold him off. And hell. I tell you what, boys. I'm, I know they haven't scored, but I'm shocked and appalled by that defending ball whipped in free header absolutely free no charge no cost sow 
Makes it square. I'm just so shocked though how we can, for the life of us, just mark a player. It's come from a set piece as well. That's just making me a little bit sick in my mouth. I can't lie as Forson gives it straight away into Bruno Fernandes. Zaliski tries to put it around the corner. Paradella finds Reggie. Finds Benway. Ref, come on. Come on, you've got to let me run through. It's like the career Ghana game the other day. Stopped when we just got a chance. I know we're destined for a point in this game. It is level, but I'm still very angry. I, I don't understand how we're not in front in this game. We've absolutely took it to Everton and just not got the three points as it stands in the bag. And we definitely are not leaving New Blundell Park. I'll keep my players hostage if we leave... Oh, if we don't get anything. Ridiculous. There's a ball through. Thomas and Hell. Very careful. Just whack it, to be fair, Papetti. I want it away from that zone. I mean, it did work, and it is working. The passing has really worked. Here's Hugo Barreira on the run. Very risky business. He's going to power this, and he's going to get a brace. We lead on the hour mark. That came from back to front very, very quickly with some very risky play. But hey, it's paid off. And I don't understand how. I'll take it though as Flynn down, surrounding to Reggie. Here's Barrera again, looking over the top. Ben Wayne just heads it back into him. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, it's not a good tackle. That'll be a yellow card. I think it's actually an orange in my book. As Gerard Villar puts it out wide into Zaidu running forward. Come on, Wolves are up next as well. That's another tasty one. If we win this and get a result against Wolves... We're potentially out of the zone, but we've got to try and get better here as Andrew with a big save. Andrew to roll that ball into Andrea Papetti there. Flynn Downs across the field into Josh Eccles. He's going to come forward with a pass there. Reggie Stone just overdoes it. Zalisqui to get the ball again. Or Z Zalesqui, I think. I'm, I don't know how I'm saying it. I don't care, to be fair. I just hope he doesn't touch the ball again and we win this game. Gleno. He's gave it. He's Gevi! He's Gevi! Gleno against his rivals! He's a Liverpoolian against Everton! He's Gevi! He got the ball! He got the ball! It's gonna be a big one, this. Andrew against Bruno Fernandes, and we've saved it! Get rid of that, Josh Eccles! What a moment for town! Still, the game's not over. If we can attack from this, though, it'd be brilliant. Hugo, again, he's through. He's on a yellow. We can take him off if he gets a hat-trick. He's still going. Back to front. It's a goal. It's 3-1. It's done from their penalty to our delight. Three points against the Toffees. That's took a big, big effort, but it should be a turning point. What a run. What a goal. Hugo Barrera, And I can't lie, I am absolutely over the moon with it. I am. We won't be out of the relegation zone, I don't think, anyway. But it's a big result, as that was a rough challenge. Still, the referee plays on as we get Machida with the tackle. It's forward onto Christian Saidi, who's come off the bench, and Santana. Not really seen much from him this game, but we might do here. He's through. He's got there first. It's four! It's 4-1! We've scored four goals in the Premier League! Lamps has got to go from Everton. I don't like calling out other managers, but it's been a shocking performance from the Blues, especially this second half, as it's over the top. It's an easy run on. It's a header down, and it's four. Got to guard against complacency, but what a result this is going to be. As Saidi, not Saidi, he's on it again, and oh, he's tried a flick. Santana, that's who it is. It took me a while to process. Thinks he's a trickster, but it's Hugo Barrera. Who's pulled out the tricks? Got a hat trick, in fact, as we win the game at home. Great work from everyone involved, as it doesn't take us out of the zone, I suspected. But now we've got an actual advantage over Wolves, who we play at Molyneux. Oh, this is a this is a decent Premier League season, I tell you that. I know we're in the relegation zone, but for the first season here, this is good box office stuff. As after that, Bournemouth, who have just narrowly got away from us. But we're struggling as Arsenal are as well. A win against Wolves and other results going our way could send Arsenal into the relegation zone. That could be interesting as I do like to skim over the other games I have. Aston Villa, West Brom and Crystal Palace. We've got to get out of the zone next episode. If there's any possibility, 
it's next time out, but not this time, of course, because unfortunately, guys, this is the end of the episode right here. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell as well enabled so you're notified when it comes out tomorrow, 4 o'clock, as I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care of yourselves in a bit, and peace.